children so welcome back to this class of english and let's read the poem the voice of the rain by wall whitman so let me read the lines of the poem and who art thou said i to the soft falling shark which strange to tell gave me an answer as here translated i am the poem of her said the voice of the rain eternal i rise impalpable out of the land and bottomless sea upward to heaven whence vaguely formed all together change and get the same so let's uh, study this poem in parts and who art thou art means art thou means you so the poet asked to the rain drop who are you okay so here i is the poet so and who are you said i is the poet to the soft falling star so soft falling star means rain drizzling so drizzling means slight rain so poet said to the soft falling rain drops that who are you which strange to tell see this uh, line student this is very important which is strange to tell so the poet is not able to define so it is an undefined thing which strange to tell means whatever the rain drops told the poet that is undefined which it cannot be defined so the poet says to the readers that whatever answer was given by the rain that it cannot be defined but i am translating that answer for your convenience so the poet says that rain drops gave answer and here it is getting translated so the poet has translated the words or the lines said by the rain drops now whatever the rain drops have said has been quoted here so i am the poem of earth so i here signify rain so i here signify rain drop here i signify poet so i am the poem of earth said the voice of the rain so the rain drops or the rain drop told the poet that i am the poem of the earth now let's understand this line why the rain drop why the rain drop has been defined as poem of the earth the reason is water cycle children you know very well that there are water bodies on the earth like seas oceans rivers lakes geysers springs so what happens the water gets evaporated from 
these water bodies and these vapors rise up in the sky and they fall down again as rain that's why the poet here translates the words of the rain that what the rain says that i am the home of the earth means the earth has created me the earth has written me eternal i rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea so eternal here signifies heaven all right so eternal here signifies heaven and impalpable means impalpable means that cannot be touched so the rain drop says that i rise up towards the heaven and i cannot be touched i rise impalpable out of the land and bottomless sea so the evaporation you know children the phenomena takes place on land also and on sea also the phenomena of evaporation takes place on land as well as on the sea so that's why the rain drop says that untouched i get evaporated from land and the bottomless sea upward to heaven whence vaguely formed together so whence here signify where so the rain drop rise up towards heaven that is eternal where it is vaguely formed you can say discreetly minutely formed all together change so all the upper water vapors they are change all together means so the complete water vapor that gets changed there and yet the same now what is yet the same all the wa water vapor gets changed into rain drops so the water vapor gets changed into rain drops so the rain drop says that on the form the earth means i have got created from the earth and i rise up towards the heaven i am um, i cannot be touched and uh, i rise up from the land as well as the bottomless sea i rise towards the heaven towards the heaven means towards the sky where the rain drops are discreetly formed and all together change means complete water vapor gets changed but they are the same it doesn't happen that some portion of water vapor changes to gas or other things or some solid no all the water vapor gets changed into rain drops the children i think by now the poem is clear to you now all the different words i have explained to you impalpable means that cannot be touched whence means where eternal means heaven home of the earth means rain drops all right now let's study the figure of speech used in these lines
three poetic devices have been used over here. The first poetic device is personification. So children, by now you might have understood where the personification have been used. So the raindrop has been personified as human being. Alright children, so I am the poem of the earth. Alright, so raindrop has been personified over here. So here is the use of personification. Next is the use of metaphor where we compare two things. So this line